Hi everyone, this is Kate Halliman and welcome to my channel. Uh, I had a request in the comments to do hair from the side. So this is what this tutorial is going to be about. So go ahead and grab some paper and a pencil. I'm actually only using a school pencil, a softer one. And um, my paper has a nice deep texture. So we're going to use texture today. If you don't have texture, that's fine. Use whatever kind of paper that you have nearby. And let's make this work. So as usual, we're going to start with a very basic um, shape of the head. Now, if you really want to, we can add the profile with a full nose, lips, and the chin. That might help some. It's not necessary. If you want to add it, you absolutely can. We can go as far as adding eyebrows and a closed eye. We're going to stay simple. We're not going to go into many details. And this is actually good enough. We don't have to go further with this part. But this is actually going to help us kind of see um, where we're going to take the hair. Um, in the picture that I'm using, it's it's... By the way, it's from Pixabay that allows you to, you know, use um, royalty, not royalty free, creative commons, okay, free images. Um, and that's really, really nice. So sometimes I go there. So currently I do have a picture of a profile that I got from there. Okay. So if you see the ear is right around here, you know, same level as the eye and the nose. And let's get to the hair. We're gonna start here with um, simple banks. And now I like to go with um, hard, hard lines. I mean, that's probably not what everybody likes to do with their portraits, but I do like to give it a solid guideline when I draw and I just really enjoy the thickness of the line so I like to combine um, thick lines and thin lines and doing this kind of helps me know ahead of time you know which way I'm going to be shading the curving of the hair especially if there's waves or curls so right now it doesn't look like realistic hair, but we're actually gonna get there and you're gonna see that it can really work This is just our guide so Very simple And now hair here is gonna go into a bun So it's not gonna be tight some of the strands are gonna go in different um not directions, but you know, there's going to be a variety of line again. So it curves around the head. This is all going to help us know how to shade each section. Now, if you have medium hair or short hair and you do hair buns, I personally don't do it. My hair is pretty thin. But when you do that, you know that some of the hair doesn't stay inside the bun. It comes out a little loose. So that's actually what I'm starting with because that's the hair that's up top over the rest of the bun. So that's why. Okay, so there we have that. And now, let's see. This paper is gonna make a decent mess. So I'm gonna grab a napkin or a paper towel just to keep my paper from smudging too much. So same for you if you have 
a paper towel, a napkin, or a tissue. Anything is going to work. It really does prevent a lot of the smudging. Alrighty. So we have a decent foundation for what we're going to do. And let's get to the shading. I usually start <laughs> at the darkest color. Um, I was told many times that that's the wrong way, but this way really works for me because I like seeing the contrast from the start. I don't necessarily enjoy the process of layering from the lightest color to the darkest. So this is how I do mine. I start at the darkest and then I add my mid-tones. Now this looks kind of flat, so we're going to add a few sharper lines. Kind of helps the strands come out. And again, a hair, unless you put a lot of hairspray in it, it doesn't stay in a solid shape. So go ahead and add a few loose strands. And we're, we're basically going to repeat this process in every section. And you're going to see at the end, you're going to have really, really nice looking hair. So um, again, we're going to go from dark to medium tones to adding strands. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. I'm going to get through it. And then we're going to close together again at normal speed. There we are. Every section basically had the same simple process. And because each section has its own shape, it does create a nice, fuller, more realistic look, you know, of different strands of hair going over each other. So it's not flat, it's well shaped. Loose strands of hair really help to bring out that realistic look of hair. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you want something else that's very specific, let me know in the comments and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to sign your artwork and date it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.